for-profit, non-profit. Uh, the Josh Gordy Hope Foundation started mm -hmm. in 2012. Uh, my nephew was born with hemophilia, which was, to our family, never heard of. We never heard of hemophilia. Um, and it was just a great way to, while I was in NFL, in NFL, try to use that platform to try to bring awareness to such a rare form of uh, bleeding disorder. I was going to say, you want to explain what it is for those who don't. Yeah, so hemophilia is a bleeding disorder that, uh, you know, just, it is somewhat of a gene that can pass down to the family, but where the blood just doesn't clot like mm -hmm. it should. And and it's not just with cuts and bleeding. He, he had, he, he would go through uh, joint bleeds. So even it could be internal stuff. Mm -hmm. Just being on you, standing up too long can have effects on the joints, as well as the cantaloupe side. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. Um, he just turned 20 today. Yeah. Happy birthday notes. Um, but for the last probably five years now, though, he, he has had some new medication that came out. And it's... it's That's it's, a tremendous help. Yeah. Definitely. It's had a lot. Yeah. Um, can't call it a curve, but it's the closest thing you're going to see. He's able to be more active in certain things that he wasn't able to do before. Yeah. Whereas he was having... I don't want to get the numbers wrong. He was having multiple bleeds a month. You know, knowing how to deal with it as obviously the older, but you know, now they're pretty much non existent. So just quality of life he gets to enjoy now. You know, he works out a lot, he <laughs> <laughs> you see him now, he's jacked up. I <laughs> maybe, maybe gotta get back in the gym so I can, so I can handle this, you know. Mm. But um, it's good to see that and a lot of events we have here at the park, we do a lot of proceeds go back to the non profit. So uh, we got the so we started out 5K. Okay. Yeah, we started out doing 5K races around. Uh, most of them was here, and then we did one, I think, more towards Atlanta. Um, but So it started that way every year. And then this is the second. We've done three, but this is the actual second annual for teaming up with the foundation. And um, pretty much like out here, we um, they come out for ATV ride. It's about three hours, maybe more. And it's not straight ride. We stop, so you get the rest. But you come out, and then, um, yeah, like he said, the proceeds go towards the foundation. And with those proceeds, you want to explain about the different scholarships and the different things that. Yeah, yeah. So every year we we award various scholarships in either form. We just kind of depend on how we're gonna do it. But um, started out with doing a national uh, scholarship. Uh, I don't know if you call it search, but you know, awarded, but. We we'll probably do it this year too, but we, we work with the National Hemophilia Foundation. Mm -hmm. We put it out through them; they send it out, and seniors around the country who's affected by hemophilia, either mm -hmm. directly or indirectly, mm -hmm. you know, they can apply for it. And you also have to be, have done some community work around hemophilia too, as far as spread awareness. Since we know that's what we want to do: spread awareness. Um, so we use it for water cover those scholarships. Um, I know a couple of years we sponsored some families who couldn't mm -hmm. afford to go to some of these um, summits that they have, mm -hmm. conferences, which is great, you know, because a lot of times, especially people who can't afford to go, that's where they need to be at. Because yeah. now you're around other people who are going through the same thing, mm -hmm. you, know, you can talk the same language. How do y'all handle this when, you know, this going on, this, that? You know, and it breaks it down to, like, even parents of the children that might have it. Like, you even go to a certain um, – meeting or whatever and they teach you different things on how to handle it or what you should do so it's not just it's not even just for them it's like the whole family learns different things and those kids get around can you, you can yeah. imagine like my nephew he was the only person here in the county with it for the longest i think now we got the two two or three but you can always imagine they always by themselves nobody mm -hmm. else can relate mm -hmm. so when you go to those conferences hotel full of <laughs> full of people going through the same thing so that was always great to be able to send those families to that who otherwise couldn't afford it. Um, a couple years ago, we started um, actually awarding scholarships here for the local high school. Uh, so that was another good thing. And, uh,